Hello and welcome to Money Time. The personal finance bulletin show on the first personal finance platform of the country, which is Money Nine. So let's begin with some inflation news. Not only rice and wheat, even milk may get costlier going forward. Delhi and Sia's leading milk supplier, Mother Dairy, has said that it may hike milk prices as input costs are continuously rising. Manish Bandlish, who is MD of the milk supplier, has said that animal feed costs have increased sharply. forcing farmers to increase selling price so as a result milk procurement costs of delhi dairy companies have also shot up mother dairy's milk has already become costlier by 4 rupees per liter in the last 6 month and noida based milk supplier can further hike milk prices in the coming time currently the mother dairy's full cream milk is available at 62 rupees per liter in new delhi and we continue with the inflation news Prices of two major staple foods in the country are pinching common men quite sharply these days. According to the Consumer Affairs Ministry, the average price of wheat has risen by five rupees per kg to thirty-one rupees per kg in the last one year, while the rice has become costly by four rupees per kg in the same time period. Rice is being sold at an average rupees of thirty-eight rupees per kg. Food Secretary Subhanshu Pandey has blamed hoarders. for the recent rise in wheat price while industry experts have attributed elevated rise in price to lower acreage and uneven rainfall private sector lender the axis bank has hiked interest rates on fixed deposit axis bank account holders can now get interest rates in the range of 2.75 to 5.75% on fds of different tenures to get the highest rate of interest that is 5.75 You will have to open an FD for one year, eleven days to one year, twenty-five days. Senior citizens will get additional interest rate in the range of zero point two five to zero point eight five percent over and above applicable interest rates on FDs of different tenures. Capital market regulator SEBI has deferred the IPO of non-life insurance company GoDigit. GoDigit General Insurance had filed preliminary papers with SEBI on August seventeen. The capital market regulator has not specified any reason for deferment of the IPO. The IPO was to comprise of a fresh issue of equity shares of up to 1,250 crore rupees and rest being of a for sale. Godejet offer motor insurance, health insurance, travel insurance, property insurance, marine insurance, liability insurance, and other insurance product. Cricketer Virat Kohli and his wife Anushka Sharma have also invested in this non-life insurer. Next up, we have news on some Ayurvedic cosmetics. The Telangana Bench of GST Authority for Advanced Ruling has ruled that Ayurvedic cosmetics will attract 18% GST. The bench said that just because Ayurvedic products like hair oil, conditioner, face serums etc are manufactured under Ayush, these cannot be classified as medicines. Keep in mind Drugs attract lower GST of 12%, whereas cosmetic Ayurvedic products will attract higher GST rate of 18%. Well, apart from provident fund and pension schemes, very soon you will be able to invest in separate healthcare, maternity, and disability benefit schemes of EPFO. Government officials have said that EPFO has been managing provident fund and pension schemes since decade. So. it has well proven track record of managing social security benefit schemes this makes it an apt authority to rule out such welfare schemes so according to sources discourse on this matter is underway very soon citizens might get to subscribe to such social security benefits being rolled out by the government backed organization next up an interesting concept of zombie malls or ghost malls have come up in the country don't worry Zombie malls or ghost malls have nothing to do with the presence of any supernatural entity inside shopping malls. It is just a name given to malls in which more than 40% of capacity space is empty. And on an average, 21% of malls in the top six cities of the country are lying vacant. So, according to real estate consultant Knight Frank, emergence of zombie mall is a grave concern for any economy as it leads to layoff. fall in revenue and increase of rent and un- unemployment in the country 
good news for all car enthusiasts out there. Now, you can book Mercedes-Benz first ever made in India luxury EV at 25 lakh rupees. You can book the luxury saloon both online or by visiting any of the company's dealership. The model will be known as EQS 580 4Matic. The German luxury auto manufacturer is expected to roll out its flagship luxury saloon on September 15. Starting September 23, you can buy Chinese electronics manufacturers Honor Pad 8 for 19,999 rupees on Flipkart. The higher variant of the tablet with 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage space will be available at 21,999 rupees. The Honor Pad 8 features 12 inch screen, 8 speakers, and comes in blue hue. Well, that's it for today. Hope you will like this. And for more such content, do follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you haven't downloaded our app, then go to the Play Store and download it.